out there. If you are one of my 102 or so followers, then welcome back to my channel. And if you are not one of my subscribers, make sure you do that. <laughs> Either way, welcome to my channel. And um, today I'm doing a shoe haul, like a secondhand shoe haul. If you haven't watched my videos before, you might not know, but I am a big advocate for secondhand shopping. I plan on only buying secondhand pretty much everything at this point, but I'm gonna show you my shoes. I'm gonna talk about where I got them and I hope that this inspires you to maybe check out some secondhand options before you buy new. So let's get to it. Okay, so these first shoes are these like black sandals. They're just like flat, comfy, easy to slide on sandals. And I got them at Style Encore for $7. And Style Encore is just pretty much like, I don't know if you've heard of Plato's Closet, but Style Encore is like, I would say the more grown up professional version of Plato's Closet. <laughs> so it's basically a consignment shop. And I got some other stuff from Style Encore too. I got some dress pants. I got two pairs of dress pants and a dress shirt because I recently got a new job. Woohoo! Applause. But I also got two more pairs of shoes because I couldn't resist. So I got these tennis shoes. I just thought they were super cool. Like they're size six. They were $16, so they were a little more expensive than like the other shoes that I got there. But I just think that they're super sick and they're sparkly and they would go with like maybe they could go with this outfit but i don't know they could go with a dress or shorts and a t-shirt or jeans or like whatever you want to put them with and then i got these like sandals i liked the little heel that it had and they're strappy and just like they can be dressed up and they can be casual and i'm all about versatile clothing now my very favorite things that I got secondhand recently are these two pairs of Doc Martens. Now it might be a little overkill that I got two pairs. I see that now. Honestly, like I wanted the Chelsea style super bad and I saw them after I had already purchased like the steel toe boots, but these were $110. And typically, Doc Martens are like 160 or 170. These particular ones, I'm, I believe, were 160. So I got them for a good price from Mercari, which is an online secondhand app. And I use Mercari religiously. I sell stuff on Mercari and I buy a lot of stuff on Mercari. It's super awesome. This just goes to show you can find any kind of shoes you want secondhand and it's cheaper. It's more like, it's better for the environment usually. And it's just like, it's, it's so satisfying to be able to find these things thrifted. Like to me, I'm just trying to convince everybody in the world that like secondhand shopping is better. These ones, are the steel toe like combat boots and they were $100 from Poshmark. So I think it ended up being like $113 uh, with shipping or after tax. I, I think it was with shipping. Um, so anyway, I felt like that was a really good deal and I got two pairs. Um, you know, you can just, there's different, different styles for different occasions, but I was just very happy that I found them. So here we are with two pairs of Doc Martens and I'm not mad about it. As far as like shoes that I wouldn't purchase secondhand, I wouldn't purchase secondhand running shoes. If you personally know me, then you know that I have been a runner for 13 years-ish. 12 maybe long explanation shortened it's better if you buy new running shoes as opposed to like used ones you want them to fit your feet 
you want them to be, I guess, right for your body type. And the other shoes that I didn't purchase secondhand and probably wouldn't purchase secondhand, I mean, maybe I would if I could find some, but I couldn't find some, I had to buy them quickly, <laughs> are the non-slip shoes, like slip resistant shoes. Uh, those things get worn down really easily. I needed to get mine like quickly because I got my job. So I got mine at Walmart. I wouldn't typically say I support Walmart in every shape or form, but I did need to get these. So they were like $26 at Walmart and I need them for my job. I just wanted to share my thrift finds with you guys. And I, I'm honestly very proud of the shoes that I buy secondhand, of anything that I buy secondhand. Before 2020, I never really wanted to buy secondhand shoes. I, I was like all about shopping, like thrifting and stuff. But now I am limiting myself even further and making myself thrift shoes. And it's been a challenge, but it's been a fun challenge. So anyway, I'm gonna stop talking. I always tend to ramble on in my videos and guess what? Your girl has to go to work really soon. So I'm gonna go. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, by the way, um, this is my new apartment behind me. I will eventually do an apartment tour after I get everything decorated and finished. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'm sorry that I keep rambling on. I'll be back again with another video about secondhand shopping, things that I buy, whatever, secondhand. Again, I'll be back. Comment below if there are certain things that you would like to see, if you'd like to see me do some more things on my bucket list. And other than that, I'm just gonna peace out here. Be sure to subscribe and like this video and have a great day. Bye!